Okay, this is some weird shit. Um, I just have this video playing on the monitor just for you guys, so somebody to have something to look at while I verbally sit here and rant about this Mobius camera that I'm holding in my hand now. What number is it? I don't care. Mobius 26, Mobius 16, Mobius Infinity. I give a F. It's a Mobius, and it's just ridiculous. You know, I remember the days where you had a camcorder, and it had simple prompts on it. Something like play, record, rewind, fast forward. You know, is that just too archaic? You know, kind of like a record player. You put the record on, you put the so speed of the damn record, and it played. You didn't need any Zen training or no kind of computer degree or no kind of weird uh, kind of experience to, to play the damn shit. All right? This Mobius right now is probably recording in what I call yellow mode because the yellow light and the red light is blinking. But get this. When I take out this memory card and put the card into my computer, it will show that a file has been recorded. It will show some kind of MOV file. But check this out. The MOV file will not play with my Windows Media Player. I downloaded Total Video Converter, which also has Total Video Player, and the MOV file will not play with that. It's a file, but it won't open and it won't play. But, I take that same file and upload it to YouTube, and uh, it actually plays. So I could record stuff, but I can't see what the heck it is I recorded, let alone do any editing, until I upload it to YouTube, which is just ridiculous. By the way, the video that's playing is my video that I did years ago when I used to know half-ass how to edit stuff using Windows and uh, some type of HP movie editing program. The only thing I didn't do was put the little words in, the little highlights to tell people what's going on while the video's going on. Okay? But that seems like a million years ago because I can't do that now. Now, with this Mobius... If I press these buttons and fiddle around with it enough, I can get this yellow light to go into what I call blue mode. Now, when I get it into blue mode, I go ahead and, and record something. And when I take the memory card out, put the memory card into my computer, whatever it is I recorded in blue mode will show on my PC. But not in Windows Media Player. It will only show in Total Video Converter or Total Video Player. It shows up as an MOV file and uh, it plays in Total Video Player. Okay? But when it plays, it plays in a loop. So if I count to 10, instead of going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 in the video, it'll go 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3, 4, 4, 4, 5, 5, 5. It'll do some weird, weird fucking shit. And excuse my language, but you know, there's no way to say this in non-cuss words the way I'm feeling right now. So, in blue mode, I could actually watch a video that I recorded on the Mobius piece of shit, but... It'll be in this weird echo loop type mode. Now I know you guys are going to say, oh, it's so simple. You just have to go to duck, 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 get .com and download this and change the settings. And Why in the hell do I have to do that? Why can't I just press play and have it play? You know, shit has gotten so damn out of hand with this Microsoft Apple Snapple bullshit and everything going to hell. You know, it's just ridiculous, man. So anyway, nonetheless, I can watch something in blue mode, but I have to watch it like in echo loop type fashion. All right. Now, the funny thing is, if I something told me upload the blue mode video too. So if I upload a video to YouTube that I was recorded in blue mode, guess what? Thank you, YouTube. It takes away the loopiness. It takes away the echo and that weirdness. But I don't know what the hell is going on, and I cannot sit here and study by myself 
and and go to YouTube and get people tell me how to fix this. Somebody's got to see this and say, Marky, I'll walk you through it, dog. You know, um, you know, do they have a Mobius for dummies? I'm sick of this, man. You know, it seemed like the only camera I could get is the WL Toys 686 camera that comes with the drone. I take that camera out, take the board out of the drone, and put a separate battery attached to the board, and I, I will just literally have to use that camera as my do-all, all my drone cameras, because that's the only camera that's half as decent that I like that I can somewhat work. I used to be able to hack into the camera to where I didn't even need the board. You know, you just use the, you find the three uh, wires, a hot wire, a power wire, and like this separate ground. And as soon as you turn it on, you'd get a FPV feed to your monitor. And then if you hit the ground to the first ground, if you hit the second ground to the first ground, that would somehow make it start to record. But that hasn't been working for me for most of 2015 so you know the only thing that did work is to take the entire board out of a drone plug the board into the 686 camera and then make a, a camera mount for the 686 camera with a separate battery for the drone a whole separate uh, I mean a separate battery for the camera and the board the drone board and I'd have to use that remote just the, the uh, WL Toys remote to activate the camera. And uh, it seems like I'm going to have to go back to doing that because that is less costly and uh, actually more simple than whatever it is you guys are going to tell me because I could already hear it now. What kind of memory card is it? Did you format the card? Did you go here and download this? Man, come on, man. I want a camera that I can use, that I don't have to study Zen, Buddhism, Microsoft 101, hieroglyphic bullshit, okay? Um, so that's my story. Is it my computer, which is a Windows Vista, which I hate, but I've had it for a minute and it didn't work for a long time and I finally got it fixed, so I just can't throw it out. I got a Windows 7 software, but um, I haven't plugged that in because I can't find the damn uh, product code. And I have a feeling when I plug the Windows 7 in, they're going to ask for a product code when I shouldn't need one because I paid cash for that stupid software. So, there it is. I got two video modes. Yellow, which I can't see what the hell's going on until I upload it to YouTube and I can actually see it. Or blue mode which I could see once I put it in my computer, but only on a uh, total video converter, and it'll be in a weird, loopy, echo-type deal, unless I load that to YouTube, and that takes away the loop echo. If anybody out there can help me, please tell me what's going on, because I'm sick of this, man. I'm sick of the 808 keychain cameras, and I'm sick of this, you know, um, I kind of have a problem with my SJ cam too, but at least I can somewhat use that and half-ass watch something uh, uh, of the video before uploading it to YouTube. But I still can't edit that. You know, that's a shame, man. That's a shame, you know. Anyway, so there it is. I'm going to press this button and this recording should stop. But I won't be able to hear it or see it, like I said, until I upload it to YouTube. So somebody out there, RC Forms, whatever, help me. Tell me what's going on. And if I'm that stupid and you can't explain it to me, if anyone lives in the San Fernando Valley can help me, tell me where to go. I'll drive to L.A. I'll drive to Palmdale if I have to. If you can put this in the hand, in your hand, and actually show me what to do. Because sometimes I'm a hands-on type learner. I'm not very bright. You just can't explain things to me and say, Oh, go 